today on Divorce Court. I want Judge Lynn to address our trust and communication. Tariq is a liar and a cheater. I want the judge to know that. I want to build our trust and get my relationship back on track. This isn't a 50-50 relationship. I carry the most weight because I work and do everything. She just sits there and just basically be lazy. If she doesn't change, I'm just gonna have to leave. Simple as that. I can't stay no longer. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Tyreek White and Jessica Washington. Now, are you ready for this, Joe? They've Sarah. been together seven and a half years. They are 19. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Seven and a half years. Wow. 19 years old. So what, you were 12? I was 12, she was 12 turning 13. She was 12 turning 13, yeah, so you like the older, older women. women. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. I, I understand, I understand. Why don't you, what happened when you were 12 that got you together and you stayed seven and a half years? Well, when we first met or whatever, she was getting bullied or whatever, and then she was getting bullied by another girl. Uh-huh. She was getting dragged by her hair across right. the back of our middle school or whatever, so I came in and I got the girl hands off of her hair, or whatever, and you, that's, that's just what I do. Yeah. But, <laughs> that's why you so do that dude. Yeah, you gonna stop it. I was saving her, so it was basically love at first sight, mm -hmm. or whatever. So, but yeah. You came in like night and shining on, <laughs> and you loved him ever since. Wow. Well, let's fast forward seven and a half years, because you came here because you want my advice to keep you together. Yes. And what's happening now that's made everything so rocky? It, everything been, was cool at first, whatever, until like two years into the relationship, or whatever, when I disrespected her mom. We got into a little altercation. Now hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> you said two years into the relationship. So you were all of 13? We, I was 14 at the time. 14? Yeah. Okay, now, now, now what did you do to her mom when you were 14? Well, her mom called us because we was arguing. She went, uh, she called her mom crying, or whatever you so-called. She cried, and her mom called me, yelling at me, telling me, basically giving me demands. Like, I don't take demands well like that. So I was oh, like, hold up, hold up, hold up! <laughs> I'm so confused. What did her mother want you to do? She basically was saying like, oh, don't do this to my daughter, and the next time, oh, you better treat her right and do it. But well, what did you do parents. to her daughter? Well, at the time, I cheated. At 14. <laughs> now remember, 14. <laughs> you know, he rode his little bike <laughs> down the lane, <laughs> got off the bike, <laughs> and held some other girl's hand. Now, Ms. Washington, what kind of cheating did he do? He was dating my best friend. Oh, wow. <laughs> you a busy little preteen. <laughs> I guess he so. He dated your best. Now, did your mother tell you to dump him? Yes. <laughs> no, she didn't. Wait, she did. No, she did not. Oh, she you, know, you don't know tomorrow. what happened over her house. You walked down the street on your bike. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you listen to her? I was in love. <laughs> <laughs> did you get mad at him because he was disrespectful to your mother? Yeah. Which bothered you more, the cheat or the disrespect? The cheating. The cheating? So how long did you make him beg before you took him back? He didn't really beg. I just cheated on him back. Oh. <laughs> Again, 14. 14. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 14. I understand you had another breakup at some point and there was some uh, revenge porn involved. She, we had just broke up. I whatever, not even a day later, she had another boyfriend. Or whatever, so I asked her, can we be friends? And she was like, no, I gotta ask my boyfriend. I'm like, we was together, mind you, we was together for four years at the point, mm -hmm. and she never once listened to me when I say, oh, you can't be friends with this guy or this dude. So I got jealous or whatever. It kind of hurted me a little bit, so I went home mm -hmm. or whatever, and I posted a naked picture of her onto Facebook, talking, smacking everything to her. And then three hours later, Mind you, I was, at I was at home. I heard the door, a, a loud bang on the door, like boom, boom, boom. So I'm like, what the? OK, so I walk to the door. I peek out of it, or whatever. I see the police. So I turn around, or whatever, and I, I told my dad, I'm like, it's the police at the door. He was like, answer it. 
So I was like, okay. So <laughs> I'm mind you, I'm scared of the police for some reason. I'm scared of them. So when I opened it, I peeked my head out. I would have, so I'm looking. They were like, Tariq White? I'm like, yeah. Mind you, I only seen one police when I first opened right. the door. It was only one. When I stepped out that door, or whatever, it was a police on the side of the door with a canine dog and another one. So basically, her family member called the police. I never, so basically what they did, to make a long story short, was basically told me to delete all of the pitch, naked pictures that I had of her. I just want to make something clear, Ms. Washington. You took the pictures of the nudes and sent them to him. Is that correct? He took, I knew he took the pictures, but I didn't expect him to post them online. Okay, so that was the surprise, yeah. that he posted them online. There's so much wrong here, I don't know who to yell at first or louder. I don't know. First of all, Ms. Washington, don't put anything on the naked and then give it to somebody because you, you, the whole world could have it within a matter of a couple seconds. They could accidentally press a button and send it all over the world. You don't want your nudity to be electronically shared. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. And, 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 and that's just... And, and how long did he have to beg before you took him back after that? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something I want to hear. Um, well, my side is that he post. I po I would date somebody else because he posted a picture saying he has a new boo. Like he had a, what? A new girlfriend. A new boo. Okay. Before he told me he was playing, I actually got a new boyfriend. A day later. Cause you posted a picture. Hmm. So. That wasn't the next day though. Yes, it was. It when you posted matter. that picture, I got the same boyfriend. I, there's so much. I, I'm going to move on from there. I've done a couple of things. I've taken a uh, compatibility test, and I want to move on to your trust issues and another issue that I think is is very, very uh, deep and needs to be examined. Her phone rang. I answer it. Some guy say, is Jessica there? I'm like, who is this? She was all, he was all like, don't worry about who this is. And I started yelling at her. I'm, basically yelling, telling her why is she talking to this dude, and she acting like she can't hear me. Ms. Washington, did, did that happen? So my understanding is cheating has been a thematic problem throughout your relationship. Is that true? Correct. Have you caught her cheating? Yes, I have. Tell me about that. So the other day, I would ever, her phone rang. I would ever, I answer it. And I'm like, hello? Some guy say, is Jessica there? I'm like, who is this? She was all, he was all like, don't worry about who this is. So I got an anger issue, so I instantly hung up. Mm -hmm. Hung it up, and I started yelling at her. I'm basically yelling, telling her why is she talking to this dude, and she acting like she can't hear me. She's just looking away like, like, you hear me when I'm talking. Uh, right. You hear exactly what I'm saying. You got some temper issues? Yeah, I can you admit, a as a young temper? man, I got a bad temper. Yeah, I can tell you, you, you tick up. <laughs> you, you, you tick up quickly. I mean, I know you're not mad now, but I can tell, that, tell how you, I can tell how you roll. Ms. Washington, did, did that happen? Yes. Who was the dude? A guy I was dating. <laughs> so you were dating another guy while you were with him? Stand up, Mr. White. Yes, because he was dating somebody else. <laughs> he was dating somebody else. Jesus. Now, how were old were you when this happened? Hmm? This was actually a few months ago. A few months ago. Does he have a bad temper? Yes. What's the worst thing he's done in, in, in a state of rage? I would say put me out. When you say put me out, what do you mean? Where were you? What You, you um, don't have any children, by the way. No. <laughs> 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 Gotta love you for that. So, after high school, I started a semester in college. He moved to Reno, and we did a long distance before, and we didn't like it. So, mm -hmm. after I finished my semester in college, I moved in with him. Are you still living with him? No, I, not at this moment. Do, do you believe that you have a problem with your anger? Yes, I do. Are you doing anything about it? I'm taking anger management classes. You taking anger management classes? Are yeah. they helping you at all? Sorta. Of. Huh? Sorta. Of. Sorta? Of. Are you taking them seriously? Yes. The issue that I want to get to is that there was a cheat, but it was a cheat that was unique in nature. You're gonna explain it to me so I understand it, and I want to know how the relationship survived that particular cheat. 
she went behind my back and betrayed me and told my cousin, and I specifically told her, do not tell nobody. How can I trust you if you don't? Something if I take that deep, something, something that, that personal. Deep, I, I tell you, then you just go and tell everybody. It's like. Could you forgive your partner for sharing nude pics of you? Tell us what you think at facebook.com slash divorce court. Divorce Court will be right back. One of your biggest issues, Mr. White, is that you say she betrayed your trust on a very important issue. And I want you to explain to me what actually happened. OK, so I could find in her by uh, telling her that I was exploring my sexuality. Mm -hmm. And she went behind my back and betrayed me and told my cousin. And I specifically told her, do not tell nobody. because. It was a certain time where I was crying myself to sleep. I didn't have nowhere to turn. And I was just so hurt. And I felt like I can finally open up right. to her because this is the person that I love. So I wanted to know if, like, you know who the real me is and are you going to accept it or are you going to leave? Right. So when she, um, when she, um, when she, um, When she, uh, after I told her, or whatever, she told my cousin, and then she ran and told her friends. So her friends was coming back, and whatever, asking me, or whatever, like, about my sexuality when I told her, like, how can I trust you if you're going to... Something that you, deep, something, something that, that personal. Deep, I, I tell you, then you just go and tell mm -hmm. everybody. It's like... Uh, okay. When you say exploring your sexuality, maybe bisexuality, you yeah. know, you, you were just seeing, you, you had feelings and you wanted to see where they were going to go. Yes. Correct. You told her and she told. Ms. Washington, is that true? Yes, I, but I only told his cousin. It, it, it didn't no matter. Yes. You, you know who you told. But you know how, how deeply personal that was to him? Yes. Why did you tell the cousin? Because, for one, I was mad because he broke up with me. And I felt like I had to do something to make him feel how I felt when he broke up with me. Why did he break up with you? Did he break up with you for somebody else? You don't even know, <laughs> do you? We break up a lot. Through this whole year, we've always been breaking up for nothing, so... Is it this past year has been the year of breakups? No. This year, actually, been the least of a breakup. Mm -hmm. It's mostly all through high school we've been going on and on. You know why that is? It's because you're in high school. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do. You break up, but, but, but then you, you stay gone. What, what keeps, you keeps you coming back to one another? What, because I, I, I read your compatibility test. Why seven and a half years? Because that's a deep thing for somebody 19 years old to be seven and a half years with one person. What do you think it is? Well, with me, it's just that it's like sometimes she, she gets me, so that's why I keep running back. It's like I don't feel like running to somebody else and then trying to open up again mm -hmm. and have all my business and everything that was personal to me or whatever just go out into the world and then everybody finding out. So I keep going back to her, like, because she knows everything about me. Right. Or uh, whatever. So it's like, why start over again? Mm -hmm. I'll explain why <laughs> in a little while. Let me ask you, why do you keep stay going back to him? Kay. Because what I see is a lot of revenge cheating. You cheat, so you go get a boyfriend. You cheat, you go get a girlfriend. Isn't that what, what's going on? Yes, but most of the time we are together and like we understand each other most of the time and we really get each other. Like if we go with somebody else, it's not going to last because like for one, they don't really know us like how I know him and they don't know him like I know him. Oh, let me disabuse you of a couple of errant notions you've got <laughs> right there. I'm going to help you both out. What would you do if your partner revealed your deepest secret? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. I got to explain something to the two of you, and I'm going to talk to you like you're my children, because my youngest child is three years older than you two. <laughs> so, Mr. White, don't get time and 
intention and knowledge confused with the right one. Just because you put time in doesn't mean that you put time in with the right person. I'm not saying she's the wrong person, but the fact that you put all that time in doesn't say, well, I'm stuck now. Whether we get along or not, whether it seems like we're on the same page or not, I'm stuck with her. Anybody can get to know you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anybody can find out who you are. Anybody who can see your soul and your heart and your needs and your wants and desires. You just have to be a grown person, pick the right person, and deeper still, some of the best parts of falling in love is the peeling back the layers and figuring out who everybody is. That's fun. When you're like, oh, I got a good one here. Oh, and he does this too, you know? <laughs> but I'm saying just because you've spilled First of all, you don't have that much information to spill. 19 years ain't nothing happened yet. <laughs> and you got to live a life, and you got to live a large life, and you've got to live a life where you have looked around a little bit to see what different kind of women are out there and what's good and what's not good. And you also have to be an adult about it. You guys are still in high school in your heads. If something goes wrong, you go get another guy. If something goes wrong, I go on Facebook. If something goes wrong, I tell, I show the pictures. If something goes wrong, I tell your secrets. That's not a mature way to handle business. Something goes wrong, you have a conversation. Something goes wrong, you have a conversation. Something goes wrong, again, you say, well, maybe we aren't right for each other. Let's be friends for a little while, see what else is out there. I'll hit you up in a year or so, see what you're doing. But you don't hurt the other person. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? As a woman, I'm gonna say this to you, Ms. Washington, don't ever move in with a dude. Because you get installed. And I tell you what an installation is. You move in with a dude and you start doing wifey things. You start cooking and you start cleaning and you make sure he's okay and then you make sure he takes his medicine and one day, oop, you pop up pregnant. And all you're doing is chores and a baby and you get further and further invested and you're stuck. He wants to go, he can go. But you got a kid, you got all this time invested in him, and you've been installed like an appliance, and he's got no reason to get married because you're doing all the work for free already. You know what I'm saying? Don't move in. <laughs> you know, I think you're both nice people. I would just let go of each other for a while. Pursue your life, pursue passion and depth and breadth and do other things and meet other people because you're going to be mad if you look up in 20 years, you're still with each other doing the same stuff that you're doing now because you never learned how to conduct business or you look around out there at other relationships and wow, you never had an opportunity at it because you stayed in high school with this cat you met when you were 12. You with me? Yes. You hear me? <laughs> Ain't nothing bad, you lovely people. Just. Step away, get it. You, you, in, you in school? No, get, I just work. You just work? Work and go to school. Just work ain't gonna get you nowhere no more. You gotta you do something else. Are you in school? Yes. Stay in school. Stay childless. <laughs> this matter is adjourned. When Jessica betrayed me and told my cousin about everything and when my family found out about me, it was really like heartbreaking. All I can do is cry because I wasn't ready yet to tell them what I was going through. So when she did that, I, I didn't know if I can forgive her at some point, but as we kept going on, I finally just forgave her or whatever for doing that. And we're gonna work on my anger issues and work on everything together as a couple.